Hey YouTube, this is Matrix RSPS Help. I will be helping you how to um, code a 718 Greenscape private server. Okay, first you will need a source. This will be in the description. This right here will be in the description. First you wanna first you wanna download the source, then you need a few things. You wanna download Eclipse right here, Eclipse ID for Java E developers. It depends on your Windows 32 bit, Windows 64 bit. To find out you right click computer properties and then it's right there. Next you need JDK. It's still like I said, it still depends on your Windows 86, Windows 64. Then you will need WinRAR, one of those. Okay. Now that you got that, now that when you download this, you want to extract here to your thing. Then you want to get this, take out these, and then you can just put that in your recycling bin. Then you want a new folder called just call it like 718, you know, just call it 718 RSPF. 718 server. Then you want to drag this in there and this. Okay. You're going to want to name this client. And just take the matrix off and name that server. Then you want to new folder called Eclipse. Okay, once you got that done, you want to open up this. Open up Eclipse. Okay, browse. You want to go to 718 server, then Eclipse. Okay, then okay. And if you've done this right, you'll see it puts files in here. So, I'll be back when this loads. I am back in and loaded. Now what you want to do is go to new, go down to other, Java product, and then next. Name the project ser server. You do not want to use the fall location. Again, go down here, then double click that to make sure. Okay, then click finish. I'll be back when this gets done loading. Okay, I am back. What you want to do is right click server, run as Java application. And then if it does not, you do not see it, what you want to do <coughs> is put L and it will come up, double click it. And it will say this. Because what you want to do is run as. Java application. Oh, sorry. Wrong thing again. Sorry, guys. What you want to do is run run configurations. Go over to arguments. Put in false. True. True. False. Then apply and run, and it should run. Now you want another new other Java project and then next put in client. Same thing you did before. Okay, then finish.
but no, if that pops up for you guys. Okay. I'll be back once the workspace has been loaded. Okay, I'm back. Now what you want to do is right click it, run Java application. Okay, and it should just run. But as you can see it will not connect. So what you want to do is right click it. Um no go to here and then source and then the default package then scroll down to you see loader which will be right here and it should be on top what you want to change what you want to change see it says public static string IP equals 7220 what you want to do is delete that and put it as one two seven three as that and then yes and then you just want to go like that run as java application and now it should load for you guys and next in a video I will show you how to change this background right here okay and then you can log in with any name In the next video, I will show you how to make yourself owner, and I will show you how to disable this tutorial when you first log in, because it's annoying. And if you want an eco, not a PK server, I will show you how to change that too. So guys, that's a, how to run your server. Next, I will show you how to make yourself owner and then how to disable the tutorial and how to connect with your friends and a lot of other stuff how to disable the command so regular players cannot spawn in that so bye